Welcome back to her meme craft. Apologies for the Armageddon Grey guy, I um, did die and I lost all my gear. But that's not important. No. What is important today is we're making some progress here. I've already laid out the plan around this sheep factory that I built off camera. Trust me viewers, you didn't want to see it. It was so boring getting three sheep into every single pod. Um, I swear the only difference between sheep and villagers is one can be led. But anyway. I figured we'd put a little build around this place. You know, put everything together. Make it part of the city. So shall we Dragon. what the do it I nearly had a heart attack. I nearly had a heart attack from it. It does. Yes. Oh, got a challenge for you. See if you can scare someone else with it. Check it's working. Let me go their reaction. <laughs> oh yeah, let me go their reaction. After all, this is for toast. <laughs> uh, okay. With that little bit of tomfoolery out the way, let's get back to it, shall we? What the? Oh. I hear someone. Oh. oh, it feels like I just had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Do you have any TNT I could buy? Uh, I can get some. I think we've all right. I think we've still got some selling left. So I'm in the middle of building my little wool factory. Looks good. Thanks. I've got like a whole elven fantasy kind of theme going on. Yeah, that looks cool. Thanks. So yeah, we've got plenty of gunpowder left, or at least I do. And I think we've got sang left. Okay. I can just check the sand chest just next to the giant hole we blew up. Yeah, I mean every base needs one of them. It goes down even yeah. deeper now. Oh wow! Yeah, we we use a gold ore blocks for paths. Ah. Oh. Uh, we've only got like eight sand. But gunpowder, I know we've got lots of. Yeah, I should be fine for. Oh. Well, I know I've got plenty of it. And as for sand, there is loads of it around in the river, as you can see. 
How much gun powder do you need? Um, probably around ten stacks, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten exactly. Thank you. No problem. Oh. I need sand. It is fair. How much how many diamonds do you want for that? Um tell you what. How about I cut you a deal? Alright. You want sand, right? Did you see the big lake that's next to my wool factory? Um, yeah. It's, just... it's full of sand in the bottom. Okay. I want that cleared for later use. You can have all the sand that you want from the lake. And if you run out of the lake, all the sand you want from the river. Alright, thank you so much. No it problem. No problem. Hey, we both get a win. I get the lake clear, you, you get all the sand you want. Of course. Thank, right, thank you for doing business. No problem. Thank you. And It's not as jump scary like that. <laughs> Alright, oh. see ya. See ya. One very profitable deal later, and that's one more task. Oops, off my to do list. So, back to the factory. <sighs> I swear he does that on purpose. That. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Uh, I know it's okay, you keep yours, even though I'm beginning to not trust you with it. I got you that time. Yes, yes you did, I admit that. But, apart from the central light... Oh, I think... Pretending I didn't say anything... Da, da, da. And I'm one block off, of course I am. Oh, thank you. In that case, this is the build complete. It just needs a hanging light in the middle, and I know who's going to provide the hanging lights when I get them. There's three sheep in each pen, so that means it's always going to be generating wool. And while I've been working on it, we have, I had a stack in there before, a whole nother stack. So, that's been quite efficient. And on the outside, yeah. there's that mix of English and Japanese that I was telling you about. It's got the hanging out roof. I did a little cabana thing on top. And I, I did these wall supports, and then on the top, the wall supports actually come out. So they're almost, it almost looks a bit like spider legs. Thank you. And the wool is going to very much be put to use. Put to use. 
You know that big space that I've got over there? Yeah. Grab a colour of wool and I'll show you what I'm planning on doing. Yeah, this is oh, going to be... I kind of died. Yeah, it was a bit embarrassing how I died. Well, how did you die? You know those big jungle trees? Yeah. They hurt a lot if you fall off one right into a cave. But you're stuck. Where do you stuck then? It despawned before I could get back to it. Oh, it was in the middle of a jungle. I was thinking. Yep, but also we can map out what the plan for the city is going to be. So, for example, this is going to be where the park area is around that big waterfall thing that I found. I'm thinking of bringing it up to the wall marker here. Sure, I'm glad to have your help. And I'm thinking this little section can put like a, I don't know. Yep, because I think it looks really cool. Especially going into this lake of sorts. Yeah, it goes down a lot. <laughs> I've already spied on the place. Yeah, the gate is here, so I'm thinking actually bring it out a little bit. So the, you come down the main gate and the path takes you right by the park as one of the first things you see. But you are marketing the outlines for where the park's the park. roughly gonna be. I've been looking online for shimmering in book game descriptions and in the actual game settings and it's known as the City of Lights so I'm thinking all, all sorts of fancy light displays and things like that it should be as bright during the night as it is during the day there that's going to be the park space. You can fit a bunch of things in here. But it will not be able to sleep at night because the lights will shine through everything. That's right. their problem. <laughs> this is going to be just a simple privacy wall, maybe like a fancy designed one. And the reason for that is back here is going to be the rich people areas. Isn't the rich people area? <laughs> well, every place has a rich area. Potato, potato, you know what I'm trying to say. And this bit is actually going to be one of the main features because Altma have very strict legal proceedings. So by getting a courthouse, I can tap into that. And it's right on the main road that leads up to the higher districts and straight through to the port, which I'm thinking is going to be mostly fancy stuff. Yeah, well this is going to be one port. This is going to be like the rich people, fancy ambassadors kind of port. The kind of place where people that they come to visit the king and queen, they come here. Yeah. It's so like traders and transport and basic stuff. Over here, it's a more rich housing close to the Noble Gate. This is one of my biggest big ill plans yet. Because I'm not religious. But this is going to be like a refugee town. So I figured specifically to stick it to the Thalmor. 
they combine the two. And Ariel. You still get Talos worshipping elves in other places. And besides, this would stick it to the Thalmor really bad. Don't tell me there wouldn't be some stubborn Altmer that take up Talos worship specifically because it will wind the Thalmor up. Petty exists in every universe. And I have a really cool statue design I'm looking forward to building in this. inside the actual chapel bit probably at the back maybe um there's a reason why the tough the chapel is built right onto the wall in case of thumb or evasion maybe there's like a secret passageway somewhere that takes them out straight to the port so they can run for it if they have to See, I'm just more motivated now. Here we're just gonna have some... I'm literally just making this up as I go along, but okay. Here we've just got some common people houses. Maybe they work in the industrial district area. Maybe they work on the ports, just like average people. Over this side is the industrial area where loads of farms and factories are going to be. Maybe not like actual Minecraft farms, but like the ones that you'd see in a city. Well, everyone would need armor and weapons for the guards, so I'm thinking we turn this. You can get ones that use weapons as well. What happens if a magic user runs out of magicka? Oh, yeah, right. I'm thinking we turn this into like a forge of sorts. I mean, there is a Dwemer ruin nearby. Yeah, I can put that back. And this is going to be the port gate. And I'm thinking maybe mostly outside the city walls is like the slums, poverty area kind of place. Just like some poor houses, slums, that kind of thing. And this is going to be the actual port. That island over there, that would make for lighthouse slash mage's tower, baby. Maybe the mage that every city has to have a crazed wizard living somewhere. Maybe in exchange for putting up with the wizard. That's what I'm thinking. As long as he keeps doing that, and as long as he doesn't involve the people in whatever magic he's doing, they don't care. They just leave him to it. But a giant version, yeah. Yeah, like very yeah. Over here, you can see this has a lake all the way around it. I can get some ships put in here. Up here we're going to have the lighthouse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's transforming one thing to another. Maybe he's not actually a high elf wizard, but everyone thinks he is. Maybe he's actually something else. Yeah, so that's what's he's 
not a high elf, but the people just think he is. No one's actually gone to check. Maybe he's something else entirely. You'll see. Maybe. You'll see. I'm not going to spoil it. And I just love making you guess. This passage through here, it could lead straight through to our little gunpowder farm in the ocean. It could. I mean, we do have an entire mining desert of sand. And we do have a gunpowder farm. Yep, blip. Dig it, blow a hole, either way. It's nice and wide as well, so it'd make a good passage for boats going all the way out to the ocean. Yeah, but I think the lighthouse being inside of the land doesn't make sense. You underestimate how big I'm going to make that. You know the white gold tower in Cyrodiil? Think that kind of size. You seem to not think that's the point. Every city needs a giant feature that stands out. Maybe the tower was actually there before the city and they built it around it. I can figure something out. Maybe. I like the idea idea of a wizard just stretching you the adventure. Maybe I can have a bit of fun. my own design planned out, which I'm not going to spoil. In my head. It is if you start thinking about block structure and everything. Yeah, planned out in my head. I have a rough idea for the base shapes. Just trust me, bro. Because this is plenty of space. I like this little second island. I can maybe do one big bridge to this and one little bridge to this. Maybe. I was thinking like one big bridge and then one little bridge. Because I like that kind of staggered look. It's easier to show you than tell you, and I can show you when it comes to it. Well, yeah, this is the general plan. Oh, thanks for the boost across the water. I mean, it helped. Basically the equivalent of yeeting me across the water. And I'm thinking an extra thing. Coming off the road, you know how the path up the volcano is going to go up the forest this way? Like kind of this sort of direction, roughly. Maybe at some point... Maybe like have the path to the volcano going up that way so you go up the volcano this direction yeah, it was maybe like here. 
could work. But maybe there's another path for another reason. Like... I was thinking of going around the back the long way. Because I want to have things on the path on the way. No spoilers. Yeah, that is the rough plan for Little Shimmering. Size doesn't matter. How can I really cool myself? I'm not even five feet tall. I mean, I don't have an argument for that. Okay. It's alright. Besides, no one could take me hostage, you know that. No one? No one. Yeah, you know I fight too hard for that. For what? For my freedom. That's why we're part of Toast, isn't it? Another man's tyranny. I know, I know, but the freedom to place pranks is an important one. Yeah, but let's just... That's not a bad thing. If we are just free and the other people just have to do with it. Yeah, I mean, they're free we to want, prank too. We want what we want. They're free we to want prank freedom, too. I want anarchy, freedom, that's what I want. Honestly, works with me. What? That works with me. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, we will build a giant robot here. A clever robot, and we will destroy the middle walls so everyone can build it. I'll look up some redstone tutorials then. thinking we build the elevator base. Yeah, I was thinking this blocks also works. Like very cool, I think. Alongside maybe walls. I think it would look good. Yeah. Like there's things at the edges. Yeah, I think we could do something with that. I can figure something out. But what I was thinking is, uh, you know, those farm uh, fence walls? Yeah. With those, that you use to get to the back of each. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, the locking device. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we do that here. That would work, but would the elevator come down on top of it? No, there is gonna be the elevator. Okay. Okay, I can see that working. You can also make just a clever lid. Hmm. I can think of something. It'll come to me at some point. Keep in mind, this is gonna be, this is only gonna be the, these are the outlines of the wall. Nothing is can be can come in there. So it could be smaller. Okay, that's good to know. I just might want to make sure we don't destroy anything. You know, we did work really hard on this. Can figure something. Do you want to be done yet later? Um, 
might can have a rough go at it. I mean, we could probably figure something out. Ouch! Um, it's not funny. You think it was funny? You saw that too. Someone must have. Wait. Is this the toast signal they were talking about? I think it might be. I think it is. I think we need to get ready. I will. Hello. You ready? I am. All right. There we go. Wait a minute. You see that? That's you. I think someone's edited it. Crumpets are better than I think someone put the NT on there. Who are the crumpets? I don't know. But I think we're both going to have to find out. Okay. 